what's going on everybody crypt here with another how to join a gta 5 roleplay server tutorial and in today's video we're going to be talking about exactly how you guys can join and start roleplaying in gta 5 on playstation 4 if you guys like this type of content and enjoy the video and find it helpful and actually manage to join the server feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you're new because it really does help out a ton and it's totally free to like and subscribe it goes a long way so without further ado let's get straight into the video so first things first you're going to be wondering how exactly do you get into the server well first things first a link in the description of this video will direct you right to our discord upon joining you will be given some rules automatically and you will notice there will be a channel called how to join whitelist now this is going to be one of the most important channels for you because this is going to teach you exactly how to get into rp from start to finish a couple of things to note is we are going to need your playstation network username you'll need a good understanding of how to role play and how role play works understand all of our whitelist rules to their fullest and finally go apply for ps4 keep in mind if you are denied feel free to ping a staff member and politely ask for another retry you aren't limited to one try only now remember before you apply we don't expect paragraphs for most questions however only a few words for an answer simply won't be enough lack of creativity will result in denial answering with i don't know and etc will also result in denial as well as giving the wrong playstation network username if your psn is set to hidden on the rockstar social club it is good to know that we will not accept you into the crew on joining and getting whitelisted so make sure you go to your privacy settings on the rockstar games social club website and make sure your playstation network id is not hidden and that everyone can see it answers to situational questions must be a minimum of two to three sentences long like i said we're not expecting paragraphs however you do need to put effort into it and creativity the application is in no way meant to be difficult it is simply meant to show your knowledge of rp and how you can handle different situations want to apply for elio or ems that can all be done in the main server so you know no need to worry about that you will be asked about the character you intend to have in rp basic answers like a gangster or a civ or a cop simply won't be enough this character needs to have a backstory and insight as to how they will interact with others in roleplay now after you've been accepted first things first a new channel will appear called horizon ps4 and you will need to join that and verify remember you can only see these new channels if you've actually been whitelisted after that wait patiently for a session to go up how exactly do you join the lobby well it's pretty simple to join rp you simply join off a host's name in the crew member list from the online tab or if you know exactly who's hosting you can simply search their playstation network username up on playstation and join from their profile if their settings allow that so you can go to your pause menu online tab go down to cruise my cruise click on our crew view members and join off someone who is in rp you'll know who's in rp because they'll be in a vc in the main server that's how you know they're in game a couple things to note is we do have civilian ranks now the way this works is the more you use our interactions channel and actually interact in rp with the world around you and the players around you you will gain experience leveling up your civ rank this goes from one to ten each rank allows you to do and unlock more new things and potential in rp for example at rank rank one civilian is limited to no weapons of any kind that also include your fists you can only use and purchase a bmx from the store in the server you cannot rob players stores or banks and rank one civilians cannot request for priorities now the point of all of this is to give players a sense of progression in the roleplay server rather than just loading up and aimlessly doing nothing for hours you have something to work towards and an objective and by having to interact with the players around you and the world around you there's no shortage of things to do in the server to go over some super duper important rules to start off you are going to need a new gta online character now before you think well wait a minute cryptic that's not gonna work because i have a lot of money i use the second character to dupe etc don't fret all the money from your secondary character you used for frozen money can be transferred over to your main character as long as it's in the bank account this character cannot exceed level 50 after that you will need a new character so if you already have a secondary character or your main character is under the level of 50 then you'll be fine but at the time that they do exceed that you will need a new character a new character is only required for civs leo and ems aren't required to have a new character however if you switch to civ you need to switch characters now there are plenty of other rules in the server that you guys can go over yourselves and read once you join i highly recommend you read every single one of them because you're going to be asked about a lot of them in specific detail on your application so it's highly recommended you go through these and read them horizon offers plenty of things to do besides normal role play between other players you guys can craft our server has a custom economy with a built-in crafting system that you guys will absolutely love with a huge list of player run jobs you'll find no shortage of ways to make money in the server just a quick video without further ado that's it for today can't wait to see you guys out there hope you all have an awesome day go apply peace out